Apple has a joy of uh, law of really large numbers at this point. So I, I totally can see that 20 out of the revenue run rate isn't that much. But I think what it does do is show you a better profitability metric, right? This business could be running at 50, 60% margins. So the impact to the bottom line, I think, could be closer to 10% of EPS, even if it's a smaller percent of revenue. So profitability and showing you better monetization of the install base, I think, could be two vectors that could help you through this business with them. And that picks up on the discussion we were just having. So tell us what you think investors would pay up for expanded profit margins. Give us some examples. Yeah, on the ad side alone, right, if you look at the valuation metrics that the bigger ad businesses get paid, the Googles and Facebooks of the world, uh, certainly could enable a much bigger margin expansion, or sorry, valuation expansion for Apple as you go forward. Uh, but, but the bigger thing I think for Apple will be if the story can really pivot towards being a billion six install base that Apple is going to monetize through ads, through services as you go forward, why wouldn't that entity that can generate six, seven, eight percent top line growth sustain a multiple in the mid thirties the way you know a luxury good retailer or consumer staple company gets versus what Apple has historically been perceived as more of a technology hardware company? So a couple things to ask you about here. One is hypocrisy. If Apple has really cracked down on uh, ad tracking across apps and yet is monetizing its own, you know, is advertising itself uh, with growing importance and primarily through the app store itself. You said most of these, this, these ad dollars are coming from app store ads. So they're advertising on the app store while interfering with other companies' ability to monetize their own ads through the app store. Are they going to have to come up with a better narrative about all of this? Uh, they, they definitely have to because it, it, it does sound exactly the way you laid it out, right? Uh, which is, is this hypocrisy, is this ATT, the Apple, you know, not tracking your data, a way to essentially lower the playing field so Apple can win, right? I think those are the concerns you would have. Uh, it, what I'd say is that there are three different things you can play over here, right? Some of them are very benign that they can actually monetize. One of them would be, can we make the app store itself more of a content discovery me mechanism versus today, I think, most people that go to the app store use it as a transaction mechanism. You know what you want and you get it. Can I make it more of a discovery thing? The second is, can you monetize assets like Apple Maps or Apple TV, uh, which has no ads in it whatsoever? Can you start ad loading that compared to what a Google Map or Roku does, for example? The third one, I think, goes to your point, which is, can you leverage what's happening with ATT and IDFA to build a better search ad business that can compete with the current uh, incumbents, the Googles and Facebooks of the world? I think that one, becomes a little bit more challenging because you have to walk a very fine line between consumer privacy and monetizing that install base. I mean, your numbers really get my attention. Two million, excuse me, two billion in ad revenues today, maybe 20 billion within three or four fiscal years. Um, I, I, you just described part of it. That's a that's 10x, obviously, and that's a that's a mm -hmm. significant money. Um, but the history of companies that are that are coming from out of nowhere uh, and challenging two very strong incumbents like Facebook and Google, it's kind of the old rule is you don't want to be number three in a two horse race. Yeah, a, a, a very fair point. I'd say you know the analogy that I looked at when we did this analysis was actually Amazon. If you go back to look at Amazon's ad business, it was probably around where Apple is back in 2016, and they did uh, it. Today. And, and they did it very well. So, you know, there, there's a precedent uh, that someone has done it and they both start with an A, so hopefully that helps them. Uh, the other part, I think, the other more serious note, I think, for Apple is, uh, you know, people are using the install base more and ATT and this uh, not IDFA uh, requirements that they put in has almost made it more difficult for the incumbents to play and operate in the current playing field. And does that help Apple? So. I think those two things, Amazon precedent, the fact that ATT is lowering the playing field or making it more difficult for the incumbents could help happen.